In this video, I will compare Typeform versus Paperform and tell you which of these form builders may be best for you and your needs. So first, let's compare them in terms of features. So let's start with Paperform. So you can see Paperform allows you to create powerful forms fast. Then under the product, you can see what it actually does. So they have paper form and paper sign. Now we will focus on paper form since this is the actual form builder. So here's how it works with paper form. You can start with a template or build a solution in minutes. Then you can integrate it with a bunch of apps. Then you can share it by embedding it on your website, add to an email, or just share your link. And then you can analyze how it and then you can analyze how it performs. Now that process is the exact same on type form. And in terms of integrations, you can see here on paper form. They integrate with over 2000 popular apps such as ConvertKit, Soho CRM, Asana, and a bunch more. Now, if you compare this to Typeform, their product is pretty much the same, but instead of just being able to build forms, you can also build surveys and quizzes. So if you want to do that, then you want to go with Typeform since that is included in Typeform and not in Paperform. Now in terms of integrations on Typeform, you will see they also have a bunch of them, for example, Google Forms, Slack, Excel, MailChimp, Notion, and a bunch more per category. For example, for lead generation, you have all of these right here. So pretty much any integration that you may need will probably be included in both lead form and paper form. But you can just check that out on your own and for example if you work with figma then you can see it is included in here and then you can also check that on paper form now they both also integrate with zapier and through zapier you can set up automations between over seven and a half thousand different apps so especially when you do use zapier you will be able to integrate with pretty much anything so which one should you pick? Now, before I give you a conclusion, we should look at their pricing since that is a pretty big difference. Now, Typeform doesn't show it right here, but they have a completely free plan. You can claim that through the link in the description if you want to. In the free plan, you can get 10 responses per month for free and one user. Then in the basic plan right here, you get 100 responses per month, one user and unlimited type forms and questions. They have the plus plan at 55 euros per month for 1000 responses and three users. Here you can also remove the type form branding. Then the business plan is 89 euros per month for 10,000 responses per month, five users, drop off rates, drop off rates, conversion tracking and more. Now comparing this to paper forms pricing, you can see right here, if you also set it to monthly, their cheapest plan is more expensive than paper forms. Here it's $29 per month for the same amount of submissions, which is 100 and the same amount of users. Then the pro plan is $59 per month compared to 55 euros right here. So if you convert euro to dollar, it will be pretty much the same. And it's the same amount of submissions. Then business is quite a lot more expensive. Here it's $129 per month for 10,000 submissions. And on type form, it's 10,000 responses for only 89 euros. So that's maybe 95 compared to 129 here. Then the enterprise plans have custom pricing. So in terms of affordability, Typeform is the winner, especially if you need a lot of responses, because then it will be a lot cheaper. Now these are the core plans, but Typeform also offers growth plans. For example, if you need more seats, more responses, then you can, then you can get the growth plans right here. And these have exclusive features to capture, qualify and convert leads. So you can check that out as well if you need this. For example, you will be able to add the Facebook pixel, Google Tag Manager, etc. So should you use Typeform or Paperform? In my opinion, Typeform is the clear winner. In my opinion, Typeform is the clear winner in most cases. And what I forgot to mention with Typeform, you can also use AI to build your forms. So it's super fast. You can just describe your company and what you want to create a form for. And then Typeform will create it entirely for you. And these are actually good. And I've tried those. So Typeform, in my opinion, is the winner. And especially since they also have a free plan that you can use to just get started with building it out. And only once you have those 10 responses, then you can decide to upgrade to one of their more premium plans. And the premium plans are cheaper than those of Paperform as well. 
Now, if you want to get started with Typeform's free plan without entering any payment details or anything like that, just click on the link down in the description and then here click get started, it's free. And then you will be able to get started with their completely free plan forever. So that concludes this comparison of Typeform versus Paperform. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.